Hello everyone. Are you a parent of a young child who is very hyperactive and you as a parent would love to get your child to be interested in reading just by you know uh, sitting with you for story reading sessions but unfortunately your child is not sitting even for a couple of minutes or the child is not even ready to come for a story reading session because it's your child is so busy jumping around prancing around and you don't know what to do additional to that you have people advising you get your child to read get your um, child be inspired to books and you are just wondering what to do hello i'm supriya raja and welcome to my channel as parents i know it's quite tough at times especially when we're juggling our careers well you know working with children getting your child to comply and then you have pressures like you know instilling new habits or good habits one such habit could be the reading habit and then you notice that your child is just so hyperactive your child is not having the interest to sit even for a couple of minutes let alone 15 20 minutes as advised by a professional or by a teacher or a special education coach to get your child into the habit of reading and you're wondering what do i do my child is not even sitting well i have this quick fix which i term it as the suspense building creation technique how do you do that well to start on with create an ambience so before you get your child to reading couple of maybe half an hour back or half an hour early or one hour early just put a seed of thought that we are going to be having a very fun time today i'm going to be you know sitting with you with a very fun exciting activity and you shall be like what is that well i'm not going to be telling you right now so you're building some kind of a, you know a teaser like a suspense already so when the time you have scheduled for reading probably 9:30 at night or 8:30 at night whatever that time you have decided get your child to the room close the door you can even play a soft music or a fun music so you're creating an atmosphere creating an ambience of something fun already happening there's a high possibility that your child will also get into the excitement maybe the child is dancing you can also get into the mood because you also are like now getting you know you're feeling the alignment of that particular ambience of that mood of reading to your child you can also slightly jig if you are able to do that and slowly get your child towards you take the book of course like i always mention pick a book which has got a lot of colorful pictures and less number of fonts and big font size so make the child sit and let me tell you the first day because you're starting this habit on sit just for 5 minutes that's all don't stretch it too much because you know that your child doesn't have that kind of attention to stretch and sit you don't want to bore your child right so just make your child sit for 5 minutes and in that 5 minutes read your child maybe just a page or maybe two pages in that five minutes whatever is covered when you end that particular page just leave it like well tomorrow something very i'm going to be the story has something very magical coming up or something wonderful or amazing is going to happen to this particular character you want to know what that is and your child will be like yes 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 i want to know we will know about that tomorrow so you're not actually getting into what that is not even you know they actually may not be anything you just have to build it up okay but you are creating a suspense there you're creating that excitement that eagerness to know what's going to happen next just by pausing at that right point within 5 minutes and telling we will read about we will get to know what that is tomorrow or the next day and your child is all excited your child is now your child wants to know what's going to happen so you're already building that excitement you're building that kind of that, that particular trigger in your mind, child's mind that something exciting is coming up and that this particular session is actually quite fun the next day do the same thing again sit for 5 minutes before sitting play that music around you're creating that ambience of fun and then you make your child sit with you near you just for 5 minutes exactly after 5 minutes the timer or you, you have noticed that you know 5 minutes of finish again pause and create under suspense even if it's not really in the story you create you just end it with a suspense like okay now the tomorrow we will go to know something something very very you know dangerous is going to happen to this character we will see what is happening tomorrow so you're building that suspense every day and you're getting a child to be drawn to what's going to happen next what is going to happen that the curiosity and obviously when it when your child is that young 
three years, four years, five years, they have an, a lot of inherent curiosity in them. So tap into that element of curiosity that they have and build excitement, build the suspense through creating more curiosity in their mind. I would also add that in all this process, when you're getting a child to read and you know getting a child excited and slowly building that habit of sitting for bedtime reading, one important thing is ensure that your phone is not very much near you or buzzing all the time. Because if you're distracted, let me tell you, your child is also going to get distracted. So ensure your phone is kept away from you. If bet better if your phone is not with you. The second thing is tell your family members not to disturb you in that five, 10 minutes so that you have complete, you're the completely bonding with your child in that five, 10 minutes. Okay. So why I'm saying five, 10 minutes is the first five minutes is that we're building that ambience by creating that atmosphere of fun, playing a nice music for your child to just settle down a bit. And then the next five minutes is in the story reading session. Try this consistently and let me know how it went. Well, if you are also feeling that there's so much more that you want to know and that you are feeling that you want to stay more consistent and get your child into the habit of reading, I'm holding a masterclass where I'll be giving you exactly three secrets that you as parent need to imbibe to ensure that you stay consistent yourself and helping your child into the pathway of being a curious reader and a lifelong learner. So I'll be giving the link below. You can click the link and also register for the masterclass. Well, until my next video, have a great week. Bye-bye.